Have you ever seen one of these before? These giant Eisenhower silver dollar coins? Maybe you've even got a couple in an old dusty jar on top of your fridge, or maybe in that little box of trinkets you keep in your underwear drawer. Well, if you do, you definitely want to watch this video because some of these can be worth a heck of a lot more than just one dollar. Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you for your support. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you which of these Eisenhower silver dollars are worth the big bucks, and which ones you're better off just spending or using to level out an uneven table. First off, sorry to burst your bubble, but Eisenhower dollars are not that old, not that rare, and not actually made out of silver. Well, actually most of them aren't made out of silver. I'll tell you later in the video which ones are. And what that means is that most of these $1 Eisenhower coins are not worth more than $1. But depending on a few subtle things that I'm gonna show you how to find, some of them can be worth thousands tens of thousands, or yes, even hundreds of thousands of dollars. To get a better sense of what to look for, we're gonna take a look at five different Eisenhower dollars that sold for tremendous amounts of money, and I'm gonna show you what to look for. But first, you have to understand the four main criteria that determine whether any coin is valuable or not. The first is rarity, and that's determined by the date and mint mark. The second is, what is the coin made out of? Is it gold, is it silver, or is it just brass or copper? The third is, are there any errors? Were there any errors in the production process of this coin, making it an entirely unique piece? And fourth, is it in good condition? Condition is king. They're all important, but condition is truly king, and you'll see why. Now, the last coin we're gonna look at today sold for as much as an actual house, but this first coin is no slouch either. This first coin is a 1971S silver proof coin. Now, remember I said a second ago that these coins weren't actually made out of silver? So what the heck am I talking about? Well, the regular business strike coins, the ones that were sent out into circulation, contained absolutely no silver. But the US government did produce two versions of the Eisenhower dollar, specifically for collectors, in real silver. The first was the uncirculated version, which came in these blue envelopes, and the second were the proof coins that came in these beautiful wood grain display boxes. I mean, come on, how 1970s is that? But anyway, even though these coins never saw the light of day in circulation, it's still exceedingly difficult to find one in perfect condition, or in this case, proof 70. So this coin that you're looking at right now is indeed a perfect coin. It's a proof 70, and that's why this one sold for $13,800. The next coin is graded Proof 68. It's two full grades lower than the last one, but this one sold for $18,000. Can you tell why? Well, it's because it says DDR, meaning double die reverse. That means that there's actually a variety on the reverse side of the coin where you can see doubling on the letters. If you look closely enough, you can see it. So that's why you gotta check your coins really, really closely before you say, nah, this one's not worth anything. Coin number three is a 1977D that sold for even more money than the last two. Can you tell why? This one's for the experts, so put your guesses in the comments below, and we'll get back to the answer in a second, but first I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Whatnot. Whatnot is an incredible live video auction platform in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly into coins and precious metals, but they've got trading cards, sports cards, comic books, video games, even sneakers. Basically, if you collect it, they've got it. And if you use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash silverpicker to download the app, not only do you get access to this incredible platform, for free, but you also get $15 in whatnot credit to spend on anything you want. Now you can spend it with any seller, but at all of my auctions, I always have tons of silver coins in the buy it now for just $15 or less. So you're all but guaranteed to get free silver coins just by using my link. So don't sleep on this deal because it will not last forever. Get your 15 bucks for free. Download the whatnot app, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker. Don't sleep on it. Don't miss it. Now back to our 1977D Eisenhower dollar that sold for an insane $21,600 at auction. Do you know why? Well, it's because this was struck on a 40% silver planchet. But didn't I just say that lots of coins were produced for collectors that were struck in silver? Well, not in 1977 in Denver. The Denver Mint in 1977 was not supposed to strike any silver Eisenhowers, but about 20 silver planchets snuck into the production process and ended up getting minted as coins and sent out into the population, into circulation. So while these are exceedingly rare to find, and that's why it has a $21,000 price tag, 
they are possible to find. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for those. Now this fourth coin on our list is the only example of a bicentennial 1976 Eisenhower dollar that we're gonna be talking about, but it is a doozy. This one is graded proof 70. So again, a perfect coin, but that's not enough on its own, right? Well, the reason why this one sold for so much is because it is from the rarer Type 1 variety. There was a Type 1 and a Type 2 variety, which have slight variations on the reverse of the coin, and with this one being a perfect 70 and Type 1, it sold for $25,000. Now that's already insane, but guess what? The next coin sold for 10 times as much. The final coin we're looking at today will definitely be extremely hard to find out in the wild because it is so rare. But nevertheless, it is a particularly beautiful specimen of a coin. Well, I mean that literally because it is literally a specimen coin or a prototype coin. So this particular coin was produced before the mainstream Eisenhower dollars were put into production as a sample, as a test subject. So this coin is worth a tremendous amount of money because it is so rare. And guess what? This bad boy sold for $264,000. That is as much as an actual house in some places. I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments, if you found this coin, what would you spend your $264,000 on? I'll add mine in at the comments later on, but I wanna see what you guys think first. Now, while finding any of the coins on this list will be a really, really hard thing to do out in the wild, I should point out that any silver Eisenhower dollar you find is still gonna be worth a bunch of money, probably at least 10 times face value, if not more. So by now, I bet most of you have gone to that old dusty jar on top of the fridge or the box of trinkets in your underwear drawer, and you've pulled out all of your Eisenhower dollars to see if you've got something rare. Well, what do you do if you actually find one of these coins? Well, you're already ahead of the game because you have me. If you think you have something really rare and valuable, message me on Instagram at the silver picker, send me a picture, and I'll do my best to try and help you figure out whether or not you actually have something good, and if you do, what the sales strategy should be. Now, please put in some time and research. Don't just send me a grainy picture that just says, what's it worth? Have some sense, take a second to say, do I actually think I have something valuable? If I do, here's why, and then send a good crisp picture. End of public service announcement. Anyway, I really hope you guys find something good out there. Let me know, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Anyway, there are lots of videos in this series and I've put the playlist down below in the description. So get out there and start looking for tons and tons of coins and currency worth tons of money that you can find hiding in your wallet. Anyway, if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. If you're not yet a patron, join the Patreon. The links are below and you'll get access to my private Discord group in which all sorts of collectors come together to talk shop, talk coins, and just have a good time.